Hi everybody, Jackie here from jmccreates.blogspot.co.uk An independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator for the UK living in Northern Ireland And today I am going to do a stash up So, basically I'm using my stash There's a few Stampin' Up! things spread throughout what I'm going to do But basically it's my stash a while ago I made these backgrounds Well, I did these ones These two, this is red and yellow brushu And this is a greeny brushu I think it's two colours mixed together but I can't remember With stencils And then I did these two a couple of weeks ago um, With embossing paste and glitter over the top of it Before it got a chance to dry I poured glitter over the top of it And created these two so today I'm going to turn them into Easter cards Now, I have most of this stuff prepared So I'm just going to make them all up for you And see how we go I have four here but I don't know if I'll do the whole four Okay So we're going to start with that one And we're going to put that on there Okay Like that which we're just going to go ahead and do Look at the mess in the back of it That's because I was stamping some stuff in in, a, in that colour of ink When I lifted it with my dirty hands See, didn't clean it right Dirty Right, so That's that This was a stamping up stencil I think and then I used then I used this die for my stash. Now I'm pretty sure I got these from China. Okay, on eBay. Right, so I used that one and I cut it out in navy. But I wanted a back piece for it. So I scanned it through my brother's scan and cut. And et voila, one has a back place. Okay, now I know not everybody has one of these machines, but some of you all have. And to be honest with you, that's mainly what I use mine for is outlines, <laughs> cutting out stamps and things. I just wouldn't be annoyed to cut out my hand because my hands are too sore. Okay, and then I with the same with the same this one here this yellow one that I cut out it was the same image on the machine only I made it smaller then if I get my head stuck in the way today please accept my sincere apologies but my eyesight's atrocious. Look, that's not even. Come on. Even with my eyesight can see that's not even. What are you playing at, woman? <sighs> talking to myself. Sign of old age, talking to yourself, you know. Which means I was old a long time ago because I always talk to myself. Right. And then I used... I used these I used these Easter dies okay I used this one and I cut out a little yellow chick and he's going to go on there and then I used the happy Easter and it's going to go on there and that's going to be our card done okay but do I want to put him up higher or do I want to not put him up higher back of the tick Put his stilts on Put the chicken stilts on Or the wee birdie Get your stilts on Fly high There's a song with that in it Fly high wonder what that is R.K. R. Kelly If I may remember correctly Right and we're just going to set him on there Like a good little boy And we're going to have 
a little taste of glue on this thing here okay like this and then we're going to get our happy Easter and we're just going to plop it in it and make sure it's well on well covered and we're just going to put that on there like that and we're going to put that on foam tape and that is our first card done see easy peasy lemon squeezy there we go Right, I'm going to stand up for this because I want that in the middle. Like that, I think. And that is our first Easter card done. Do I want to embellish it anymore? No, I don't think I do. I just think I like it nice and simple. So, one down. Right, next on our list. Next on our list is this one. Okay. And for this one I used, for this one, the card I used actually is Whisper White and Soul Saffron maybe, or Sahara Sand, one of the two. Okay, that's what I've used for the yellow, that yellow card base that I did in the last one. That's actually the card base. I did it in that. Uh -huh. I'll do the inside later. I'll do the inside later. I just thought I would get on with this while I was having peace. TJ's going home. Band is making the dinner. So Jackie's crafting. What's new? Right. And then we're going to stick that on our card base. Okay. Um. Right. And then I used this die here, which is this pretty thing. And it's from Tattered Lace. And these wee bits in the middle all poke out, but I didn't need any more poked out because I'm putting a bit of white over it. We're going to put that there. And we're going to put white on top of it, you see. So we'll just put glue in this bit here. And put her on because I'm going to use the same little chick again and I want it to stand out. And it when I sort of melded into the, the red, I think. Okay. And then our little birdie's going on here. Now, I'm going to put our little birdie down on that square. Like that. Okay. And then that will go on there on some foam tape. Which I've just run out of that one. I'm going to stick him there. Is he straight? Wait there, go and see. He's not straight. Rightly. Right. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to put our Easter wishes on again. It's the same little die. I'm going to do it like that. But I'm going to double this up. I'm going to put one of these on top of the other. So I am. Um, Okay, because I want a little bit of height, I want it to stand out of the card before I shadow it. Okay, so just so as it stands up a wee bit of the card and then we're going to shadow it. Let we taste more glue down. Okay.
Great. Now, raise that for cheddar. Right. And then that's going to go on there. So it is. So we're just going to glue her up again. Okay. And put it down there. And that way it'll stand out a little bit. And we want to put gems on. I forgot to put gems on the last time. Am I doing? I think I'm doing yellow. You use these ones that are just sitting on here. And we're going to put these on all the centres of... We're going to endeavour to put these on the centres of these flowers if possible. You know? But... Endeavouring and doing are quite often two different things. As I'm sure you all know. Ha! Got you. Get to get back, you beast. There we go. I need another four. Oops. Keep thinking you just escape them from me, but you are never going to escape from me. I am the jailer. Oh, come on. Get on in there, you. Oh, for goodness sake, where'd it go now? There, it's up there. There's not even any sticky on it, that's why. It's not stickifying. Oops, I found an Easter and where's the happy? Right, where did it go? There, it's there. Ha. I win, as TJ says. I win. Granny wins. Okay. And that is card number two done. Go us. We're rocking and rolling today. Right. So we can get rid of that and give us a bit of room. And get rid of that. We'll keep them there because we might need them. So I'm using... Sahara sand base. This, this, this. Oh, I didn't show you this one. This is. This comes with a sweet soiree stencils, and I put embossing paste through the stencil and purple glitter on top, and it's going on there like that. Okay. And then we're just going to put that onto our card base. Thanks for telling me that, Lick. Hey. There we go. Right. Then I used... These banner dies, and I think these are Marianne banner dies. And I cut the largest one and the second largest one. And that's the largest one, and it's going there. And where is the second largest one? Yes, and it's going there. Right. We'll do that first. Because we want them to flat. Flat as a pancake. Right. That's going to go there like that. 
and then we're going to do this trying to hide see these three wee three wee chicks here and purple I think is Marianne but don't hold me to it because I can't swear to it okay and we're going to put these on here like this I think that is better looking so it is and we're going to put stilts on them And one more, I think. Oops. Fuck. I hope it's no good beside the bottom. Right. One chickalicka, two chickalickas, three chickalickas, four, five chickalickas, five chickalettas from Paw Patrol. Can you tell I've watched children's programs since all day? <laughs> Paw Patrol. Although, in saying that, his favourite is Blaze. So we have in the bedroom, we have them all taped for Blaze and the Monster Machines, and that's what he goes to sleep to. And now he buggers away home nightward because. He's up at 7 o'clock and he um, went for a walk with David and Zeke the dog and then he came back and then he went shopping with David although he did say because David says he got halfway round and he says Banda I'm tired can we go home now he only goes shopping so he can get a toy and once he's got the toy that's it, it's you snooze you lose. Right, I want that to go about there do you? And my happy Easter. I didn't want a purple one. Did I want purple and yellow did I? Is that what the plan was? Oh there we go. Did I want purple and yellow? Oh yes I think I did. I think I like the yellow on top. It stands out a bit more. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm going to have to go and stop and get the lights on because it's getting wild dark. Right, I've made up my mind. Yellow's going on top. And don't ask me where I got this wee plastic mat from because I've got it and a, and, a, and a bigger one. They're ink mats actually and I've no idea where they came from because they've been in my stash forever. So they have. Okay, and that's our Easter. Happy Easter. Okay, I'll just let you sit a wee minute and stir. Right, where do we want to do this? You see, I had kind of thought it would be there. But does that leave the top too bare or do you do it down? Right folks, sorry about that, the blinking phone cut out, piece of piss that it is and I've gone and thrown it out the window, well I would if David would let me, so I've got David's phone again and this is where I ended up deciding where everything went and then I added some gems, okay? For the next card I used this background and some pink Stampin' Up card, powder pink. This is embossing paste with pale pink glitter over the top of it. It's shiny. And then I took this die from Sue Wilson. And it has an outline die and the inner die. 
and I cut the fancy bit in white and then I cut a pink background and then I added a piece of pink foil oh come on get on there before I do my nut in be here right okay and that's where I got to before when I realized that the damn phone had run out okay so I used this bunny this time and I cut him out in the powder pink okay and I kind of thought he might get lost on there like that so I ran him through my brother's scan and cut and I cut him out in silver and I think he stands out a bit better so we're going to stick him down We've got glue everywhere. Can't see for the lights now. That's dark now. I had to go and put my lights on. So excuse the shadows. But this is as good as it gets at this time of the evening. Right, and then I'm going to put him on there. And what a, what did I decide to do for a sentiment for that one? I haven't done anything. Should we do? What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Decisions, decisions. I think I might go and stamp something. Actually, I think I might be brave and go and stamp something. I'm going to stick him on on phone tape anyway. Okay, and cut some little bits for his feet okay and maybe for his ears big ears <laughs> used to be a cartoon when I was a child called naughty and big ears big ears was a dwarf I think that tape I don't know where I got that tape from but I'm not getting it again actually what am I saying I think somebody gave me that I got it for free oops oh well I suppose it'll do for free <laughs> I know I'm so bad right I want to put him on there then okay right and then I want to put that on there and I want a sentiment off to my side. So I'm going to put him... Oh, no, I didn't want these ones. I wanted the bigger ones. Give me that stuff there. Sorry, I keep knocking the damn light. Right. All my tape's being pernickety tonight. None of it wants to come off. Well, let me tell you, it'll do as I bid it. So it will. Because I am the boss. Right. I'm going to put that there. Okay. I'm going to go and find a stump. Right, I'm back. So I went in my stash. And I found this little set of Easter dies and I used this little happy Easter in here and I stamped it out in I think that's actually flirty flamingo I used and cut it out with the one and one eights scallop punch and now I'm just looking for the glue among the mess to glue them all together So, and then I cut out a one and a quarter inch pink one and then the final one is the one and three scallop punch 
and they just are absolutely perfect. They just give you the smidgenest of borders. So they do. I hear my husband coughing. Does that mean he's coming to steal his phone back? No, he's gone again. Right, and then we're just going to put that on there with a little bit of with a little bit of luck if we could find anything that we want among this mess that I have created. Right. I'm going to put out all of that there. Okay. And that's going to go there. And I used this tiny little Easter egg die from my stash that I have no idea where I got. And I'm going to, I cut out a couple of silver eggs that I'm just going to stick on there. Because I like the look of it. Simply because, and because, 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 because. That's sitting up so high there. Yeah. And then we're going to put that one on there. So we're going to glue you down and stand you up on top. Right, I'm sorry for the shadows, it's late and this is as good as it gets when it's late in my house. Okay, now I have this tiny little heart die but inside it is the tiniest little bunny rabbit. So, I thought I might bunnyfy my card by just sticking them on around it. Okay. Just for a wee bit of fun. Bit of fun, hon. Right. And that's card number three done. Okay. Very pretty. I think I need a couple of gems on it though. We need to gemify it. Have we got the paint in right? There's no show without gems. Like it's just like going out naked. Like how could you? Right, I saw a peel pink one down there that I want, but can I find it? Ooh, what about lemons? Ooh, I'm try lemons. I put those are stumping up enamel dots. I'm just going to put oh. okay. I think we'll stick a couple on here while you're at it the whole hog. Last one, all done. I like it when I've used something all up, it makes me feel satisfied that I haven't wasted my money. You know, because crafters has so much damn stuff and lots of people don't even use it. What a waste! Anyway, enough gurning. Let's get on with the final one. Right. For my final one, I used the brick stencil with a coppery coloured glitter over the top of it. Okay, so I found this glitter in every craft of pound. I don't know how much it was, it wasn't that expensive. And you get these four colours together and you get 
two other packs with two lots of different colours too. But I just bought them to try them. And I like it. So I'm going to put a layer on there. And you'll see I've cut my oval out of there. Because cause I'm tight. <laughs> I know it was cheap but I just it's glitter card and I just I just couldn't bring myself to waste it so that's going on there like that okay and that's going to go on to a white card base these card bases I forgot to say are all five and three quarters by four and eight or five and three quarters by eight and a quarter scored at four and eight whatever way you want to okay and that's going on there like that okay Right, so those are layers. Next, I find this ink in my stash. It's called Encore Ultimate Metallic Satin Rose. And it was the perfect colour for that. That card's not going to stick on that glitter. But anyway, it was the perfect colour for that. So I found this stamp set in my stash and I used this bunny rabbit and these three little flowers and I stamped them out and it's a pigment ink and it takes it quite a while to dry so I put clear embossing powder over it and embossed it and Bob's your uncle try in seconds okay I also took this die and I made a border I stamped it in the same ink embossed it in clear embossing ink and cut myself a border I'm just waiting to see if this is going to stick because if not we might have to change plans so right and this is going to go across here like this Okay, and I think I'm going to put it in some foam tape across there. I don't want to put it right to the edge because I'm not sure where I'm cutting it off at yet. Okay. Take off our tape. And see where we're going. Do we look straight? Should we take that like that and cut the bunny while I wab its bum off? What do you think? And just cut it off there. that okay and that's going across there then I used um, the tattered lace oval dies and I used one to cut out my bunny and then I used another to cut out the layer for behind it and that's the four and five or from the center one two three four five and six Whichever way you count it. Anyway, two ovals you need. And you can see <laughs> again, I have um, recessed it and I've used a classic label punch on that there. So I'm going to put that on my phone to it to see if it sticks better than the last. Because I'm not convinced that that's going to stay on there. And if it's not, I'm going to have to put tape on it. But I shall do that once I finish recording this thing. Okay. Right. 
and all you want to do is get that in there in the center okay and once again you can tell there's a seam here i like all my things off to one side can you right and he's going on there Although I did do the first one straight on. But I did the last three off to one side. Oh well. As long as it's pretty, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to stick my bunny on there. Okay, and then from that same stamp set, there's a tiny little stamp here that says Spring Fun. And I stamped it in the same ink and embossed it in clear embossing powder and cut it out with the classic label punch. Okay. And I'm going to put that there. But I also punched a bit of that to put on either side of it. I want to do that just on either side of it. Okay. We're nearly done now. We're nearly done now, thankfully. It's just this last bit that took so long because I had to start half of it over again. Right, and we're going to just stick that on there as straight as we can get it. Without the bottom showing. I don't want to see your bottom. No bottom. Otherwise we shall beat you with a big stick. Oops. Now getting at the evenness is not going to be easy. But we shall endeavour to do so. And that's just going to sit on there. On my wall. Okay. And what... Do we need to stick that with? What should we stick that with? Hmm. I'd like it sitting up a bit, so we'll go with stilts. We'll go with stilts. There we go. For some reason, this glitter is not sticking as well as the other ones did. I don't know why. Because it's coming off all over the place. So I might just take that background off. And change it. And I might not. But anyway, that's the final card done. That's my stash up over and done. So I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Come back for more. I would be forever grateful until next time jackie out